Adonai, everyone. Join me in practicing being the Christ of yourself. Practicing living from the perspective of the Christ in you. It is a higher perspective. a more heightened sensitivity and the Christ in you is completely constructive not negative not judgmental not destructive, completely constructive in approaching your life. And engaging with existence. In the pure Christ, there is no projection. There is only the immaculate conception and its extension into your expression, your human field. And the Christ is always relaxed and living in the present moment where eternity dwells. The fall of humanity is caught within the identification with the body and its senses. Yet in the Christ, you are in that perfect association with the great circuits of life. Many of you are discovering through our association that your perspective is heightening. Your way of approaching yourself, seeing yourself, seeing others, your way of working in harmony with the adjuster, your way of delivering and you could say converting your potential into God actuality. You're finding a slightly easier way to conduct yourself as you are entering into the higher philosophy. Leaving behind the old, antiquated dysfunction that the world attempts to that the world attempts to have people live within.
but you are not elevating into the Christ by yourself. You are engaged with the great circuits. You are learning obedience to God's authority. You're giving instead of expecting only to be given. You are letting go of the false and valuing what's true and real. These are some of the ways that you are being elevated beyond the fallen state of humanity. You are learning to turn to your paradise spirit, the adjuster. To surrender in your mind, in your ideas, to its preparation. You're letting go of the immaturity and stubbornness, and you are allowing a maturing, a ripening. These developments take time and effort on your part. You've been learning the many volitions of the Seventh Master Spirit and the Universe Mother. Those attributes, concentration, cooperation, recognition, acknowledgement, many things. And all of these developments occur in your mind, in your emotions, in your actions and choices. And no one or nothing can stop that from taking place. The world cannot touch your inner advancement unless you give over to the world, unless you want to identify with the body, with the untruth of yourself. That can stop you. But as you walk with me, as you practice by cultivating the right philosophy and its approach, as you turn to the great circuits, to resolve your problems, so will you have a new existence. O oh, Universal Father, Eternal Mother Son, Infinite Person of the Spirit, we bow down unto your glory, O God, in gratefulness to have found you.
to know you. and to become like you are. O oh, persons of Deity, Heavenly Father, Indwelling Adjuster, as you become more of that Christ within you, you are dignifying your character, integrating your person and all its lifetimes and you are poised to become unified with that adjuster dignity integrity unity Breathe with me. Placing your faith upon God who lives right in you. Paradise Adjuster. We breathe you in, O Heavenly Father. This is the power of impregnation breathing, the ninth power of your authorship. Keeping your acknowledgement upon God who lives in you Strengthening your faith attention. Say yes, O oh God. Yes, I turn to you for everything.
In truth, there is only one thing to be, and that is God in you. There's nothing else that exists. God, spirit, life, let's say existence, consciousness, all mean the same thing. And the Christ of you is that intermediary between mortality and eternity. The Christ understands mortality. The adjuster is so immaculate immersed in eternity. Become that adjuster, one with him. That will need further developments. But to enter into the Christ of you is certainly possible. It positions you for that God fusion with the adjuster one day. dwelling Christ that I am. You say that, everyone. Say it in your heart and mind. Today I'm going to review with you some of those perspectives and characteristics of living as the Christ. In the Christ, there's only one of you here. But in the body perspective, there can be a few of you within yourself, and that can get confusing. Breathe that Christ itself in you. Claim it. I am the Christ in me. I am Christos. Commune with that adjuster right within you, but beyond all the world of change. Feel your desire, O oh, Paradise Spirit, I want only you. Only you, O oh God. And when thine eye, thine faith attention, acknowledgement, thine loving awareness, thine appreciation and allegiance and adoration, when thine eye be single, thy 
entire field, including the body, shall be of light. envelope of the body. I make use of the body to learn, to experience and express. But I am not the body as identity. I am the living Christ of myself. As you focus your thoughts and feelings, as you live in that full acknowledgement of the adjuster life, God living in you, you amplify the Christ, you become the Christ. These exact changes need to happen for all people. It doesn't matter, Buddhist, Catholic, Christian, atheist, doesn't matter. The exact change of identity and allegiance, faith, must happen for every creature. O oh, Universal Father, indwelling adjuster, May your glory expand upon the earth. May your glory touch and be established. You say, I breathe you in, Almighty God. You are the source. You are life. And I am one with you. Even though you still have your misqualities, you will bring those miscreations into the Christ, but you must claim it first in faith and goodwill. You claim the identity of the Christ by faith. and by loving obedience. O Christos, I am. Great Buddha, I am within me. Great life of God, I am.
breathe deeply and be what you are meant to be, beloved. Christos. For I am Christ, Michael, who are you? Are you a little ignorant self of the body, or are you also of the Christ? Can you deliver yourself into that identification? For it is the Father's will, my desire, that you claim the Christ of you, the Buddha of you, the life of you. And what the Father wills, and the Son and Daughter desire shall be accomplished. I tell you, it is the Father's will that you arise unto a true son and daughter, which is to be the Christ, and to expand that Christhood to encompass all other individuals, every other creature. Every electron. The elementals. Every ant and blade of grass. Everything, everywhere. my journey. I am Christos, the great Buddha, you say, one with the adjuster. I have crossed the bridge from ephemerality to eternity. I claim the Christ. And I deliver all unworthiness into this Christhood. Receive of the cosmic Christ now, beloveds. The cosmic Buddha that is perfectly aligned with the source. 
receive. Breathe in that life. Receive of the Father and I. It is the duty, the responsibility of every personality to deliver themselves into these heightening perspectives. heavenly source, center of all life. We honor you. Receive of the Spirit of the Father. Claim the Christ. Expand and extend existence, beloveds. in the Christ I am thou art breathe and claim what you are
in our campus, I am daily reminding you. I am returning your mind and your heart and body into truth, into the Christ, into life. Reminding it requires repetition. I am holding this Christ mind for you until you can hold it for you. I am holding the Christ reality for you until you can find your way back to it. through the miasma, the, the labyrinth of many things. On these Tuesdays, we focus upon the writings of A Course in Miracles. It is my reminder to humanity. the return of the mind from its fallen mind into its Christ mind, arisen mind. Right? I was driving yesterday. I passed a house. No, I actually, Karen and I were going for a walk. It was during the walk. Someone had a sign out. I said, uh, probably said something like, Jesus Christ, he is arisen. Mm -hmm. He is arisen. She is arisen. I speak of each one of you. That ye shall become arisen from the cross that you bear of evolution upon a world touched by a few problems. You become arisen as you change your mind. Today, I've prepared to talk together about how to raise your mind. It is the remembrance, right? Just look at that word, everyone. It is the remembrance. That means it's you as a member becoming reincorporated with the totality. To remember is to bring the member of you into that right-minded, that Christ, that wholeness of mind. So this is a time in Salvington for you where you are becoming arisen 
you are being reminded. You are experiencing a remembrance, a renewal. Remembrance is to bring all of your energies into that reality. It is our intention together, right? To to return every member of the one totality to return every each and every member into that wholeness for even as one electron stands apart from the wholeness i am not fully arisen and neither are you right to be in that Christ is to be perceiving yourself not as the body in separation, but as the formlessness. Now that requires an evolution, everyone. As you dissolve as you return the miscreation, you become lighter. Your sensibilities become more subtle, able to perceive. That's when you start gaining some traction. That's a word outside of that's when you start gaining an advancement, a momentum. A momentum from materiality into the moronchal and even further. That moronchal consciousness is of the soul, and it is in and through the mind of the soul that you find entrance into the Christ of yourself. That's the first giant leap for humankind. Oh, you thought it was to go to the moon, but I tell you, I'm here to say the giant leap for humankind is to become less than fallen and identified with just a body. You are to be the Christ. Again, as you claim that Christ, all hell will break loose in you. As you, as you claim the Christ, you are attempting to stand in the field of the adjuster. And as you claim that Christ, all the hell will come up, all the unreality, unseen and unknown by you, because you've been asleep in the cocoon of materiality. As you claim Christos, as you claim the beloved Buddha of yourself, that higher perspective you are 
simultaneously forcing the miscreation to find its end. Because you are claiming reality as your identity. And so your creation is now not being sustained by your belief in the unreality. Again, once you elevate your mind and identity into Christos, into the one reality, all that hidden miscreation, it will start to starve. It will scream out to you, feed me, feed, feed me. I am fear. I am doubt. I am suspicion. I am insecurity. Feed me to keep me alive. Right? <laughs> and then you will have a choice. You will have to choose to demonstrate where your treasure is. What you make real is your treasure. I say, make real the Christ of you. Breathe into your heart the Christos coming from your adjuster right now. Can you feel, can you feel the Christ of you? O oh Christ within every person, vibrate stronger that each might know you, O oh God. Adonai unto all. <laughs>